On today's Spicy Kist Review, another flavor of chips from the Kettle brand to try for science. How about some Hawaiian barbecue kettle chips? Hawaiian barbecue chips with ginger infused sea salt. Now the ginger salt aspect at least really intrigues me on this. Uh, had Hawaiian barbecue, really, really delicious stuff. I feel like adding ginger salt would add you know, an extra dimension to it. As far as putting it on a chip though, not really sure yet to uh, really figure out if that would even be good, but maybe. Uh, avocado oil as well, so perhaps a little extra nutritional healthy thing, uh, at least from my perspective. So add the Kettle brand to the growing list of companies and businesses that call something Hawaiian by adding something pineapple flavored to the ingredient list, to the mix. There's pineapple powder on that ingredient list. I'll take a snapshot of the ingredient list and put it on the screen for you just to confirm. But uh, just a fun fact guys, uh, if you don't know, the pineapple did not originate, they're not indigenous to Hawaii. They were brought over, I believe, by explorers, uh, probably from the European colonies, uh, after they had visited places like Brazil and Paraguay. And they brought it back with them. Eventually it did find its way to Hawaii, got more popular there, and I guess that's where I, why people associate the pineapple with Hawaii. But it didn't originate there. So just a nice fun fact for you. Let's break this open for science. So this is what the chip looks like. Just looks like a regular kettle chip here. It's almost like you threw chicken base or something on the chip. Is there chicken base or something in here? <laughs> There's onion powder, garlic powder, which might help explain the savoriness. I don't get too much in the way of sweetness on the smell just smelling a lot of the onion powder, garlic powder, and possible soup base. But let's give this a shot. From the moment it hit my tongue, just a lot of smoky, sweet, almost teriyaki-like flavors. That smoke is just permeating the mouth right now. In a good way though, it's not too overwhelming, but it's just all over the place. And it's just constantly reminding me that there's some kind of barbecue nature in there, like you just threw some meat on a grill and it's just gonna stick with you for the duration of the experience. I don't know if I'm detecting any pineapple in there though, perhaps that's a good thing. I'm getting maybe some ginger in there, it helps accentuate everything. Uh, the garlic powder, onion powder is uh, at the forefront as well, but mainly it's just a bunch of smoky goodness. Pretty solid chip here. I like the smokiness. I give it a 4 out of 5. Alright, we have some Hawaiian barbecue chips. Let's add a Hawaiian hot sauce. Adobo Loco's back. You know, I was actually prepared for a bit of a sweeter chip on this one, so heck, I got the mangoes bumbai sauce here from Adobo Loco. Has a lot of mangoes in here. It's probably, I've said before in other videos, this can be almost like a dessert sauce with some habaneros in there. Just a really, really fantastic sauce and it's not allowing me to get the sauce, now it's coming out. Collaboration with a professional chef on Maui as well, here we go. Just a little bit of heat, a lot of sweetness. The pairing might be a bit sweet, but it cut through the smokiness, and then some. It's definitely not as smoky when you're using the sauce, but hey, this does add a nice tropical feel to it. So folks, would you try some Hawaiian barbecue kettle chips for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for the Spicy Gist Review, guys. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.